Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss Microsoft Excel's data type, the geography data type. What I've, I've covered this before, but I did this on my desktop version of Excel, and I have a Microsoft 365 account, formerly known as an Office 365 account. So in case you're wondering why I'm doing this again, I'm on Excel for the web, and I'm going to do it here. I'll also put a link to Microsoft's support article talking about the geography data type. But what I want to point out is if you have Excel 2013, even uh, 2010, 2016, or even the new Excel 2019, you don't have this data type. It is only for Microsoft 365 users, uh, for the PC, for the Mac, but Excel for the web is what I'm covering right now. That's why I thought I would do this video. I'm going to start off the first geography data type. I'm going to do countries. So I'm just going to quickly throw in some countries. Let's see if it picks up US and UK for the United Kingdom. Uh, that's enough. I'm going to type in those four. You have to have an internet connection to initially do this. So I'm going to select them because right now those are a text data type. They're just text. I'm on the home tab. Excel for the web is free if you have a Microsoft account. I'm not even in my normal Microsoft account. I'm in a free account that I created. So I'm going to go to the data tab just to show you this. There is stocks and there's geography. I'm doing geography today. Watch this. Cool. Hopefully it works. Yep. It puts in a special icon. There's a little map icon for the geography data type. Now, once you have that data type in, it pops up here and it says insert data. Notice I've still got just those four selected. I'm going to click here. What do you want to know about those countries? Well, I want to know what's the capital, major city. I'm going to click. It fills it into column B. I want to point out right now that cell B1 did not get filled in, so I would have to go and label that, which would be text. I'm going to come in here again, and I want to know what is the official language. I'm just picking stuff. I put it in column C. One more, and then I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to show you what I would do, because it's working correctly. I want to know the area. There you go. I'm going to do a few undos. So it works with countries. I just did it. It works with states, which I'm about to demonstrate. It'll work with cities. People ask me this question a lot. What work with zip codes? The answer is no, it will not work with zip codes. So when I did it with the countries, that was a range. I'm going to convert my range into a table. And just so you don't have to sit here and watch me type, I already have some states typed in. Let me go and paste those. So here we go. So before I even start, I'm going to do the same steps and make it a geography data type. And I'm going to then click that icon to put in whatever information I want. But if you recall, cell B1, C1, and D1 were not filled in. So I'm going to convert my range to a table before I even start. So insert, table, it picked up A1 to A7, and it says, do you have a header row? And I do. It is country, which really should be state. I didn't change that. Insert table. Hit OK. So now my data range is a table. So now when I still select these, insert, uh, go to the data tab, geography. Same steps as before. Still pick that up, so it's still correct. Got the icon next to them. But now when I pick something, I want to know what is the population. It should put the word population in cell B1. And it did. What else do you want to know? I want to know the median household income. I'm just picking stuff. Also want to know what is the area. And you just keep on going and then let's throw in the capital again. That was pretty cool. How about that? 
Also, just so you know, you can do this with a table. Because you have it as a table, when I come in and type in a, another state, when I hit tab or enter, it fills everything in because it's a table. So my table is going to extend down as I type in stuff. I'm curious it'll pick up NC for North Carolina. Let's see, smart enough to do it. There you go. So there is Excel for the web, the geography data type, which is free if you have a Microsoft 365 account. If you don't, just go sign up for one. I'm in a free account right now. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments down below. Thank you. Have a great day.